Amsterdam, UK also, Dutch, Master Diem listen, is the capital city and most populous municipality of the Netherlands. Its status as the capital is mandated by the Constitution of the Netherlands, although it is not the seat of the government, which is The Hague. Amsterdam has a population of 851,373 within the city proper, 1,351,587 in the urban area and 2,410,960 in the metropolitan area. The city is located in the province of North Holland in the west of the country but is not its capital, which is Harlem. The metropolitan area comprises much of the northern part of the Randstad, one of the larger conurbations in Europe, with a population of approximately 8 million. Amsterdam's name derives from Amstelredam, indicative of the city's origin around a dam in the river Amstel. Originating as a small fishing village in the late 12th century, Amsterdam became one of the most important ports in the world during the Dutch Golden Age, 17th century, a result of its innovative developments in trade. During that time, the city was the leading center for finance and diamonds. In the 19th and 20th centuries the city expanded, and many new neighborhoods and suburbs were planned and built. The 17th century canals of Amsterdam and the 19-20th century defense line of Amsterdam are on the UNESCO World Heritage List. Since the annexation of the municipality of Sloten in 1921 by the municipality of Amsterdam, the oldest historic part of the city lies in Sloten 9th century. As the commercial capital of the Netherlands and one of the top financial centers in Europe, Amsterdam is considered an alpha world city by the Globalization and World Cities study group. The city is also the cultural capital of the Netherlands. Many large Dutch institutions have their headquarters there, and seven of the world's 500 largest companies, including Philips, Axa Noble, TomTom and Ing, are based in the city. Also, many leading technology companies have their European headquarters in Amsterdam, such as Uber, Netflix and Tesla. In 2012, Amsterdam was ranked the second best city to live in by the Economist Intelligence Unit and 12th globally on quality of living for environment and infrastructure by Mercer. The city was ranked third in innovation by Australian innovation agency 2 ThinkNow in their Innovation Cities Index 2009. The port of Amsterdam to this day remains the second in the country, and the fifth largest seaport in Europe. Famous Amsterdam residents include the diarist Anne Frank, artists Rembrandt van Rien and Vincent van Gogh, and philosopher Baruch Spinoza. The Amsterdam Stock Exchange, the oldest stock exchange in the world, is located in the city centre. Amsterdam's main attractions include its historic canals, the Rijksmuseum, the Van Gogh Museum, the Stedelijk Museum, Hermitage Amsterdam, the Anne Frank House, the Sheepvaart Museum, the Amsterdam Museum, the Heineken Experience, the Royal Palace of Amsterdam, Natura Artis Magistra, Hortus Botanicus Amsterdam, Nemo, the Red Light District and many cannabis coffee shops. They draw more than 5 million international visitors annually. The city is also well known for its nightlife and festival activity. Several of its nightclubs, Melkweg, Paradiso, are among the world's most famous. It is also one of the world's most multicultural cities with at least 177 nationalities represented. Topic: <inaudible> Etymology. <inaudible> <inaudible> After the floods of 1170 and 1173, locals near the river Amstel built a bridge over the river and a dam across it, giving its name to the village, Amstelredam. The earliest recorded use of that name is in a document dated 27 October 1275, which exempted inhabitants of the village from paying bridge tolls to Count Floris v. This allowed the inhabitants of the village of Amstelredam to travel freely through the county of Holland, paying no tolls at bridges, locks and dams. The certificate describes the inhabitants as homens menentes aput Amisteladom people residing near Amisteladom. By 1327, the name had developed into Amsterdam. History Founding and Middle Ages Amsterdam is much younger than Dutch cities such as Nijmegen, Rotterdam, and Utrecht. In October 2008, historical geographer Chris de Bont suggested that the land around Amsterdam was being reclaimed as early as the late 10th century. 
This does not necessarily mean that there was already a settlement then, since reclamation of land may not have been for farming. It may have been for peat, for use as fuel. Amsterdam was granted city rights in either 1300 or 1306. From the 14th century on, Amsterdam flourished, largely from trade with the Hanseatic League. In 1345, an alleged Eucharistic miracle in the Kalverstraat rendered the city an important place of pilgrimage until the adoption of the Protestant faith. The miracle devotion went underground but was kept alive. In the 19th century, especially after the Jubilee of 1845, the devotion was revitalized and became an important national point of reference for Dutch Catholics. The Stille Omgang, a silent walk or procession in civil attire, is the expression of the pilgrimage within the Protestant Netherlands since the late 19th century. In the heyday of the silent walk, up to 90,000 pilgrims came to Amsterdam. In the 21st century this has reduced to about 5,000. Conflict with Spain In the 16th century, the Dutch rebelled against Philip II of Spain and his successors. The main reasons for the uprising were the imposition of new taxes, the tenth penny, and the religious persecution of Protestants by the newly introduced Inquisition. The revolt escalated into the Eighty Years' War, which ultimately led to Dutch independence. Strongly pushed by Dutch revolt leader William the Silent, the Dutch Republic became known for its relative religious tolerance. Jews from the Iberian Peninsula, Huguenots from France, prosperous merchants and printers from Flanders, and economic and religious refugees from the Spanish-controlled parts of the Low Countries found safety in Amsterdam. The influx of Flemish printers and the city's intellectual tolerance made Amsterdam a centre for the European Free Press. Centre of the Dutch Golden Age The 17th century is considered Amsterdam's Golden Age, during which it became the wealthiest city in the Western world. Ships sailed from Amsterdam to the Baltic Sea, North America, and Africa, as well as present-day Indonesia, India, Sri Lanka, and Brazil, forming the basis of a worldwide trading network. Amsterdam's merchants had the largest share in both the Dutch East India Company and the Dutch West India Company. These companies acquired overseas possessions that later became Dutch colonies. Amsterdam was Europe's most important point for the shipment of goods and was the leading financial centre of the Western world. In 1602, the Amsterdam office of the international trading Dutch East India Company became the world's first stock exchange by trading in its own shares. The Bank of Amsterdam started operations in 1609, acting as a full-service bank for Dutch merchant bankers and as a reserve bank. Decline and modernization Amsterdam's prosperity declined during the 18th and early 19th centuries. The wars of the Dutch Republic with England and France took their toll on Amsterdam. During the Napoleonic Wars, Amsterdam's significance reached its lowest point, with Holland being absorbed into the French Empire. However, the later establishment of the United Kingdom of the Netherlands in 1815 marked a turning point. The end of the 19th century is sometimes called Amsterdam's Second Golden Age. New museums, a railway station, and the Concertgebouw were built. In this same time, the Industrial Revolution reached the city. The Amsterdam Rhine Canal was dug to give Amsterdam a direct connection to the Rhine, and the North Sea Canal was dug to give the port a shorter connection to the North Sea. Both projects dramatically improved commerce with the rest of Europe and the world. In 1906, Joseph Conrad gave a brief description of Amsterdam as seen from the seaside, in the mirror of the sea. Topic: 20th century present. Shortly before the First World War, the city started to expand again, and new suburbs were built. Even though the Netherlands remained neutral in this war, Amsterdam suffered a food shortage, and heating fuel became scarce. The shortages sparked riots in which several people were killed. These riots are known as the Artipelopro or Potato Rebellion. People started looting stores and warehouses in order to get supplies, mainly food. On 1 January 1921, after a flood in 1916, the depleted municipalities of Dergerdam, Holysloot, Zunderdorp, and Schellingwoud, all lying north of Amsterdam, were, at their own request, annexed to the city. 
Between the wars, the city continued to expand, most notably to the west of the Jordan district in the Frederick Hendrikbert and surrounding neighborhoods. Nazi Germany invaded the Netherlands on 10 May 1940 and took control of the country. Some Amsterdam citizens sheltered Jews, thereby exposing themselves and their families to a high risk of being imprisoned or sent to concentration camps. More than 100,000 Dutch Jews were deported to Nazi concentration camps, of whom some 60,000 lived in Amsterdam. In response, the Dutch Communist Party organized the February strike attended by 300,000 people to protest against the raids. Perhaps the most famous deportee was the young Jewish girl Anne Frank, who died in the Bergen-Belsen concentration camp. At the end of the Second World War, communication with the rest of the country broke down, and food and fuel became scarce. Many citizens traveled to the countryside to forage. Dogs, cats, raw sugar beets, and tulip bulbs—cooked to a pulp were consumed to stay alive. Most of the trees in Amsterdam were cut down for fuel, and all the wood was taken from the apartments of deported Jews. Many new suburbs, such as Osdorp, Slaughtervaart, Slaughtermeer and Gusenveld, were built in the years after the Second World War. These suburbs contained many public parks and wide open spaces, and the new buildings provided improved housing conditions with larger and brighter rooms, gardens, and balconies. Because of the war and other events of the 20th century, almost the entire city centre had fallen into disrepair. As society was changing, politicians and other influential figures made plans to redesign large parts of it. There was an increasing demand for office buildings, and also for new roads, as the automobile became available to most people. A metro started operating in 1977 between the new suburb of Bijlmer and the centre of Amsterdam. Further plans were to build a new highway above the metro to connect Amsterdam Central and city centre with other parts of the city. The required large-scale demolitions began in Amsterdam's former Jewish neighbourhood. Smaller streets, such as the Jodenbreestraat, were widened and almost all of their houses were demolished. At the peak of the demolition, the Neumarkrillen Neumarkt riots broke out. The rioters expressed their fury about the demolition caused by the restructuring of the city. As a result, the demolition was stopped, and the highway was never built, only the metro was completed. Only a few streets remained widened. The new city hall was built on the almost completely demolished Waterloop line. Meanwhile, large private organizations, such as Stadsherstel Amsterdam, were founded with the aim of restoring the entire city centre. Although the success of this struggle is visible today, efforts for further restoration are still ongoing. The entire city centre has re-attained its former splendour and, as a whole, is now a protected area. Many of its buildings have become monuments, and in July 2010 the Grachtengordel the three concentric canals, Herengracht, Kaisersgracht, and Prinsengracht was added to the UNESCO World Heritage List. In the early years of the 21st century, the Amsterdam city centre has attracted large numbers of tourists. Between 2012 and 2015, the annual number of visitors rose from 10 million to 17 million. Real estate prices have surged, and local shops are making way for tourist oriented ones, making the centre unaffordable for the city's inhabitants. These developments have evoked comparisons with Venice, a city thought to be overwhelmed by the tourist influx. Construction of a metro line connecting the part of the city north of the river or lake IJ to the center was started in 2003. The project is controversial because its cost had exceeded its budget by a factor 3 by 2008, because of fears of damage to buildings in the center, and because construction had to be halted and restarted multiple times. Since 2014, renewed focus has been given to urban regeneration and renewal, especially in areas directly bordering the city center, such as Frederick Hendrikbert. This urban renewal and expansion of the traditional center of the city, with the construction on artificial islands of the new Eastern Iberg neighborhood, is part of the Structural Vision Amsterdam 2040 initiative. Geography Amsterdam is located in the Western Netherlands, in the province of North Holland, although it is not its capital which is Harlem. The river Amstel ends in the city centre and connects to a large number of canals that eventually terminate in the IJ. Amsterdam is about 2 metres 6 .6 feet below sea level. The surrounding land is flat as it is formed of large polders. A man-made forest, Amsterdam's Abbas, is in the southwest. Amsterdam is connected to the North Sea through the Long North Sea Canal. 
Amsterdam is intensely urbanized, as is the Amsterdam metropolitan area surrounding the city. Comprising 219.4 square kilometers, 84.7 square miles of land, the city proper has 4457 inhabitants per square kilometer and 2275 houses per square kilometer. Parks and nature reserves make up 12% of Amsterdam's land area. Topic: Water Amsterdam has more than 100 kilometers 60 miles of canals most of which are navigable by boat The city's three main canals are the Prinsengracht, Herengracht and Keizersgracht In the Middle Ages Amsterdam was surrounded by a moat called the Singel which now forms the innermost ring in the city and makes the city center a horseshoe shape The city is also served by a seaport it has been compared with Venice, due to its division into about 90 islands, which are linked by more than 1,200 bridges. <laughs> Climate Amsterdam has an oceanic climate, Köppen climate classification CFB, strongly influenced by its proximity to the North Sea to the west, with prevailing westerly winds. Both winters and summers are considered mild, although winters can get quite cold, while summers are quite warm occasionally. Amsterdam, as well as most of the North Holland province, lies in USDA hardiness zone 8b. Frosts mainly occur during spells of easterly or northeasterly winds from the inner European continent. Even then, because Amsterdam is surrounded on three sides by large bodies of water, as well as having a significant heat island effect, nights rarely fall below minus 5 degrees Celsius 23 degrees Fahrenheit, while it could easily be minus 12 degrees Celsius 10 degrees Fahrenheit in Hilversum, 25 kilometers 16 miles southeast. Summers are moderately warm with a number of hot days every month. The average daily high in August is 22.1 degrees Celsius .8 degrees Fahrenheit, and 30 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit or higher is only measured on average on 2.5 days, placing Amsterdam in Oz heat zone 2. The record extremes range from minus 19.7 degrees Celsius minus 3.5 degrees Fahrenheit to 35.7 degrees Celsius .3 degrees Fahrenheit. Days with more than 1 mm in of precipitation are common, on average 133 days per year. Amsterdam's average annual precipitation is 838 mm in, more than what is measured at Amsterdam Schiphol Airport. A large part of this precipitation falls as light rain or brief showers. Cloudy and damp days are common during the cooler months of October through March. Demographics Historical population Compared to other important towns in the county of Holland, such as Dordrecht, Leiden, Harlem, Delft and Alkmaar, Amsterdam is a relatively young city. In stark contrast to the relative decline of those other towns, Amsterdam's population grew in the 15th and 16th centuries, mainly due to the rise of the profitable Baltic maritime trade after the Burgundian victory in the Dutch Hanseatic War. Still, the population of Amsterdam and other towns in Holland was only modest compared to the towns and cities of Flanders and Brabant, which comprised the most urbanized area of the Low Countries. This changed when, during the Dutch Revolt, many people from the southern Netherlands fled to the north, especially after Antwerp fell to Spanish forces in 1585. In 30 years, Amsterdam's population more than doubled from 41,362 inhabitants in 1590 to 106,500 inhabitants in 1620. During the 1660s, Amsterdam's population reached 200,000. The city's growth leveled off and the population stabilized around 240,000 for most of the 18th century. At the turn of the 18th century, Amsterdam was the fourth largest city in Europe, behind Constantinople about 700,000, London 550,000 and Paris 530,000. This was all the more remarkable as Amsterdam was neither the capital city nor the seat of government of the Dutch Republic, which itself was a much smaller state than England, France or the Ottoman Empire. 
In contrast to those other metropolises, Amsterdam was also surrounded by large towns such as Leiden about 67,000, Rotterdam 45,000, Haarlem 38,000, and Utrecht 30,000. The city's population declined in the late 18th and early 19th centuries, dipping under 200,000 in 1820. By the second half of the 19th century, industrialization spurred renewed growth. Amsterdam's population hit an all-time high of 872,000 in 1959, before declining in the following decades due to government-sponsored suburbanization to so-called growth centers such as Permarend and Almere. Between 1970 and 1980, Amsterdam experienced its sharpest population decline ever, and by 1985 the city had only 675,570 residents. This was soon followed by urbanization and gentrification, however, leading to renewed population growth in the 2010s. <laughs> Topic. Immigration In the 16th and 17th century non-Dutch immigrants to Amsterdam were mostly Huguenots, Flemings, Sephardi Jews and Westphalians. Huguenots came after the Edict of Fontainebleau in 1685, while the Flemish Protestants came during the Eighty Years' War. The Westphalians came to Amsterdam mostly for economic reasons, their influx continued through the 18th and 19th centuries. Before the Second World War, 10% of the city population was Jewish. Just 20% of them survived the Shoah. The first mass immigration in the 20th century were by people from Indonesia, who came to Amsterdam after the independence of the Dutch East Indies in the 1940s and 1950s. In the 1960s, guest workers from Turkey, Morocco, Italy, and Spain emigrated to Amsterdam. After the independence of Suriname in 1975, a large wave of Surinamese settled in Amsterdam, mostly in the Bijlmer area. Other immigrants, including refugees asylum seekers and illegal immigrants, came from Europe, America, Asia, and Africa. In the 1970s and 1980s, many old Amsterdamers moved to new cities like Almere and Permarend, prompted by the third planological bill of the Dutch government. This bill promoted suburbanization and arranged for new developments in so-called Groeikernen, literally cores of growth. Young professionals and artists moved into neighborhoods de Pijp and the Jordaan abandoned by these Amsterdamers. The non-Western immigrants settled mostly in the social housing projects in Amsterdam West and the Bijlmer. Today, people of non-Western origin make up approximately one-third of the population of Amsterdam, and more than 50% of the city's children. Ethnic Dutch as defined by the Dutch census now make up a minority of the total population, although by far the largest one. Only one in three inhabitants under 15 is an autochtoon, or a person who has two parents of Dutch origin. Segregation along ethnic lines is clearly visible, with people of non-Western origin, considered a separate group by Statistics Netherlands, concentrating in specific neighborhoods especially in New West, Zeeburg, Bijlmer and in certain areas of Amsterdam Noord. In 2000, Christians formed the largest religious group in the city 17% of the population. The next largest religion was Islam 14%, most of whose followers were Sunni. Religion In 1578, the previously Roman Catholic city of Amsterdam joined the revolt against Spanish rule, late in comparison to other major northern Dutch cities. Following the Dutch takeover, all churches were converted to Protestant worship. Calvinism became the dominant religion, and although Catholicism was not forbidden and priests allowed to serve, the Catholic hierarchy was prohibited. This led to the establishment of Schulkirchen, covert churches, behind seemingly ordinary canal-side house fronts. One example is the current debate center de Rode Hode. A large influx of foreigners of many religions came to 17th-century Amsterdam, in particular Sephardic Jews from Spain and Portugal, Huguenots from France, and Protestants from the southern Netherlands. This led to the establishment of many non-Dutch-speaking religious churches. In 1603, the first notification was made of Jewish religious service. In 1639, the first synagogue was consecrated. The Jews came to call the town Jerusalem of the West, a reference to their sense of belonging there. As they became established in the city, other Christian denominations used converted Catholic chapels to conduct their own services. 
The oldest English language church congregation in the world outside the United Kingdom is found at the Beganoff. Regular services there are still offered in English under the auspices of the Church of Scotland. The Huguenots accounted for nearly 20% of Amsterdam's inhabitants in 1700. Being Calvinists, they soon integrated into the Dutch Reformed Church, though often retaining their own congregations. Some, commonly referred by the moniker Walloon, are recognisable today as they offer occasional services in French. In the second half of the 17th century, Amsterdam experienced an influx of Ashkenazim, Jews from Central and Eastern Europe, which continued into the 19th century. Jews often fled the pogroms in those areas. The first Ashkenazi who arrived in Amsterdam were refugees from the Chmielniki Uprising in Poland and the Thirty Years' War. They not only founded their own synagogues, but had a strong influence on the Amsterdam dialect adding a large Yiddish local vocabulary. Despite an absence of an official Jewish ghetto, most Jews preferred to live in the eastern part of the old medieval heart of the city. The main street of this Jewish neighborhood was the Jodenbreestraat. The neighborhood comprised the Waterloopaline and the Neumarkt. Buildings in this neighborhood fell into disrepair after the Second World War, and a large section of the neighborhood was demolished during the construction of the subway. This led to riots, and as a result the original plans for large-scale reconstruction were abandoned and the neighborhood was rebuilt with smaller-scale residence buildings on the basis of its original layout. Catholic churches in Amsterdam have been constructed since the restoration of the Episcopal hierarchy in 1853. One of the principal architects behind the city's Catholic churches, Kuypers, was also responsible for the Amsterdam Central Station and the Rijksmuseum, which led to a refusal of Protestant King William III to open that monastery. In 1924, the Roman Catholic Church of the Netherlands hosted the International Eucharistic Congress in Amsterdam, and numerous Catholic prelates visited the city, where festivities were held in churches and stadiums. Catholic processions on the public streets, however, were still forbidden under law at the time. Only in the 20th century was Amsterdam's relation to Catholicism normalized, but despite its far larger population size, the Catholic clergy chose to place its episcopal see of the city in the nearby provincial town of Haarlem. In recent times, religious demographics in Amsterdam have been changed by immigration from former colonies. Hinduism has been introduced from the Hindu diaspora from Suriname and several distinct branches of Islam have been brought from various parts of the world. Islam is now the largest non-Christian religion in Amsterdam. The large community of Ghanaian and Nigerian immigrants have established African churches, often in parking garages in the Bielmer area, where many have settled. In addition, a broad array of other religious movements have established congregations, including Hinduism, and Buddhism. Jews make up about 2% of the city's total population. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Diversity and Immigration. Amsterdam experienced an influx of religions and cultures after the Second World War. With 180 different nationalities, Amsterdam is home to one of the widest varieties of nationalities of any city in the world. The proportion of the population of immigrant origin in the city proper is about 50% and 88% of the population are Dutch citizens. Amsterdam has been one of the municipalities in the Netherlands which provided immigrants with extensive and free Dutch language courses, which have benefited many immigrants. Topic: <laughs> Cityscape and Architecture. Amsterdam fans out south from the Amsterdam Central Railway Station and Damerik, the main street off the station. The oldest area of the town is known as De Wallen English, the Keys. It lies to the east of Damerik and contains the city's famous red light district. To the south of De Wallen is the old Jewish quarter of Waterloopaline. The medieval and colonial age canals of Amsterdam, known as Grachten, embraces the heart of the city where homes have interesting gables. Beyond the Grachtengordel are the former working class areas of Jordaan and de Pijp. The museum plain with the city's major museums, the Vondelpark, a 19th century park named after the Dutch writer Joost van den Vondel, and the Plantage neighborhood, with the zoo, are also located outside the Grachtengordel. Several parts of the city and the surrounding urban area are polders. This can be recognized by the suffix meer, which means lake, as in Alsmeer, Bielmermeer, Harlemmermeer, and Watergrafsmeer. Uh, 
Topic: <coughs> Canals. The Amsterdam Canal system is the result of conscious city planning. In the early 17th century, when immigration was at a peak, a comprehensive plan was developed that was based on four concentric half-circles of canals with their ends emerging at the IJ Bay. Known as the Grachtengordel, three of the canals were mostly for residential development, the Herengracht where Heron refers to Heron Regierders van de Stad Amsterdam ruling lords of Amsterdam, and Gracht means canal, so the name can be roughly translated as Canal of the Lords. Kaisersgracht Emperor's Canal, and Prinsengracht Prince's Canal. The fourth and outermost canal is the Singlegracht, which is often not mentioned on maps, because it is a collective name for all canals in the outer ring. The Singlegracht should not be confused with the oldest and most inner canal single. The canals served for defense, water management and transport. The defenses took the form of a moat and earthen dikes, with gates at transit points, but otherwise no masonry superstructures. The original plans have been lost, so historians, such as Ed Tavern, need to speculate on the original intentions. It is thought that the considerations of the layout were purely practical and defensive rather than ornamental. Construction started in 1613 and proceeded from west to east, across the breadth of the layout, like a gigantic windshield wiper, as the historian Geert Mach calls it, and not from the center outwards, as a popular myth has it. The canal construction in the southern sector was completed by 1656. Subsequently, the construction of residential buildings proceeded slowly. The eastern part of the concentric canal plan, covering the area between the Amstel River and the IJ Bay, has never been implemented. In the following centuries, the land was used for parks, senior citizens' homes, theaters, other public facilities, and waterways without much planning. Over the years, several canals have been filled in, becoming streets or squares, such as the Nuizades Vorbergwall and the Spui. Expansion After the development of Amsterdam's canals in the 17th century, the city did not grow beyond its borders for two centuries. During the 19th century, Samuel Sarfati devised a plan based on the grandeur of Paris and London at that time. The plan envisaged the construction of new houses, public buildings and streets just outside the Grachtengordel. The main aim of the plan, however, was to improve public health. Although the plan did not expand the city, it did produce some of the largest public buildings to date, like the police Vor Volksvliet. Following Sarfati, civil engineers Jacobus van Niftrich and Jan Kalf designed an entire ring of 19th century neighborhoods surrounding the city's center, with the city preserving the ownership of all land outside the 17th century limit, thus firmly controlling development. Most of these neighborhoods became home to the working class. In response to overcrowding, two plans were designed at the beginning of the 20th century which were very different from anything Amsterdam had ever seen before Plan Zuid, designed by the architect Berlage, and West. These plans involved the development of new neighborhoods consisting of housing blocks for all social classes. After the Second World War, large new neighborhoods were built in the western, southeastern, and northern parts of the city. These new neighborhoods were built to relieve the city's shortage of living space and give people affordable houses with modern conveniences. The neighborhoods consisted mainly of large housing blocks situated among green spaces, connected to wide roads, making the neighborhoods easily accessible by motor car. The western suburbs which were built in that period are collectively called the Westelika Tuinstedten. The area to the southeast of the city built during the same period is known as the Bielmer. Architecture Amsterdam has a rich architectural history. The oldest building in Amsterdam is the Oude Kirk English, Old Church, at the heart of the Wallen, consecrated in 1306. The oldest wooden building is Het Houten Huys at the Beganoff. It was constructed around 1425 and is one of only two existing wooden buildings. It is also one of the few examples of Gothic architecture in Amsterdam. The oldest stone building of the Netherlands, the Morian is built in S. Hertogenbosch. In the 16th century, wooden buildings were raised and replaced with brick ones. During this period, many buildings were constructed in the architectural style of the Renaissance. Buildings of this period are very recognizable with their stepped gable facades, which is the common Dutch Renaissance style. Amsterdam quickly developed its own Renaissance architecture. 
These buildings were built according to the principles of the architect Hendrik de Keyser. One of the most striking buildings designed by Hendrik de Keyser is the Westerkirk. In the 17th century Baroque architecture became very popular, as it was elsewhere in Europe. This roughly coincided with Amsterdam's Golden Age. The leading architects of this style in Amsterdam were Jacob van Kampen, Philips Vingboons and Daniel Stalpart. Philip Vingboons designed splendid merchants' houses throughout the city. A famous building in Baroque style in Amsterdam is the Royal Palace on Dam Square. Throughout the 18th century, Amsterdam was heavily influenced by French culture. This is reflected in the architecture of that period. Around 1815, architects broke with the Baroque style and started building in different neo-styles. Most Gothic-style buildings date from that era and are therefore said to be built in a neo-Gothic style. At the end of the 19th century, the Jugendstil or Art Nouveau style became popular and many new buildings were constructed in this architectural style. Since Amsterdam expanded rapidly during this period, new buildings adjacent to the city centre were also built in this style. The houses in the vicinity of the Museum Square in Amsterdam Oud Zuid are an example of Jugendstil. The last style that was popular in Amsterdam before the modern era was Art Deco. Amsterdam had its own version of the style, which was called the Amsterdamse School. Whole districts were built this style, such as the Revierenbert. A notable feature of the facades of buildings designed in Amsterdamse School is that they are highly decorated and ornate, with oddly shaped windows and doors. The old city centre is the focal point of all the architectural styles before the end of the 19th century. Jugendstil and Georgian are mostly found outside the city's centre in the neighbourhoods built in the early 20th century, although there are also some striking examples of these styles in the city centre. Most historic buildings in the city centre and nearby are houses, such as the famous merchants' houses lining the canals. Parks and recreational areas Amsterdam has many parks, open spaces and squares throughout the city. The Vondelpark, the largest park in the city, is located in the Oudzuid neighborhood and is named after the 17th-century Amsterdam author Joost van den Vondel. Yearly, the park has around 10 million visitors. In the park is an open-air theater, a playground and several horeca facilities. In the Zuid borough, is the Beatrixpark, named after Queen Beatrix. Between Amsterdam and Amstelveen is the Amsterdamse Bos, Amsterdam Forest, the largest recreational area in Amsterdam. Annually, almost 4.5 million people visit the park, which has a size of 1.000 hectares and is approximately three times the size of Central Park. The Amstel Park in the Zuid borough houses the Rieker Windmill, which dates to 1636. Other parks include the Sarfata Park in the De Pijp neighborhood, the Oosterpark in the Oost borough and the Westerpark in the Westerpark neighborhood. The city has three beaches, Nemo Beach, City Beach, Het Stenen Hoofd, Silodum and Blidgeburg, all located in the Centrum borough. The city has many open squares, plain in Dutch. The namesake of the city is the site of the original dam, Dam Square, is the main city square and has the Royal Palace and National Monument. Museum Plain hosts various museums, including the Rijksmuseum, Van Gogh Museum, and Stedelijk Museum. Other squares include Rembrandtplein, Muntplein, Neumarkt, Leidseplein, Spui, and Waterloopplein. Also, near to Amsterdam is the Nekevold Estate Conservation Project. Economy <inaudible> 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 Amsterdam is the financial and business capital of the Netherlands. Amsterdam is ranked fifth best of European cities in which to locate an international business, surpassed by London, Paris, Frankfurt and Barcelona. Many large corporations and banks have their headquarters in Amsterdam, including Axa Noble, Heineken International, Ing Group, ABN Amaro, TomTom, Delta Lloyd Group, Booking.com and Philips. KPMG International's global headquarters is located in nearby Amstelveen, where many non-Dutch companies have settled as well, because surrounding communities allow full land ownership, contrary to Amsterdam's land lease system. Though many small offices are still located on the old canals, companies are increasingly relocating outside the city centre. The Zuidas English, South Axis has become the new financial and legal hub. 
The five largest law firms of the Netherlands, a number of Dutch subsidiaries of large consulting firms like Boston Consulting Group and Accenture, and the World Trade Center Amsterdam are also located in Zuidas. There are three other smaller financial districts in Amsterdam. The first is the area surrounding Amsterdam Sloterdijk Railway Station, where several newspapers like De Telegraaf have their offices. Also, Deloitte, the Gemeen Telic Vervoorbedrijf Municipal Public Transport Company and the Dutch tax offices Belastingdienst are located there. The second financial district is the area surrounding the Johan Cruyff Arena. The third is the area surrounding Amsterdam Amstel Railway Station. The tallest building in Amsterdam, the Rembrandt Tower, is situated there, as is the headquarters of Philips. Port of Amsterdam The Port of Amsterdam is the fourth largest port in Europe, the 38th largest port in the world and the second largest port in the Netherlands by metric tons of cargo. In 2014 the Port of Amsterdam had a cargo throughput of 97, 4 million tons of cargo, which was mostly bulk cargo. Amsterdam has the biggest cruise port in the Netherlands with more than 150 cruise ships every year. In 2019 the new lock in Imuiden will open, the port will then be able to grow to 125 million tons in capacity. The Amsterdam Stock Exchange AEX, now part of Euronext, is the world's oldest stock exchange and is one of Europe's largest bourses. It is near Dam Square in the city centre. Together with Eindhoven Brainport and Rotterdam Seaport, Amsterdam Airport forms the foundation of the Dutch economy. Topic. Tourism Amsterdam is one of the most popular tourist destinations in Europe, receiving more than 4.63 million international visitors annually, this is excluding the 16 million day trippers visiting the city every year. The number of visitors has been growing steadily over the past decade. This can be attributed to an increasing number of European visitors. Two-thirds of the hotels are located in the city centre. Hotels with four or five stars contribute 42% of the total beds available and 41% of the overnight stays in Amsterdam. The room occupation rate was 78% in 2006, up from 70% in 2005. The majority of tourists originate from Europe. The largest group of non-European visitors come from the United States, accounting for 14% of the total. Certain years have a theme in Amsterdam to attract extra tourists. For example, the year 2006 was designated Rembrandt 400 to celebrate the 400th birthday of Rembrandt van Rijn. Some hotels offer special arrangements or activities during these years. The average number of guests per year staying at the four campsites around the city range from 12,000 to 65,000. Red Light District De Wallen, also known as Wallages or Ross Burt, is a designated area for legalized prostitution and is Amsterdam's largest and most well-known red light district. This neighborhood has become a famous attraction for tourists. It consists of a network of roads and alleys containing several hundred small, one-room apartments rented by sex workers who offer their services from behind a window or glass door, typically illuminated with red lights. Retail Shops in Amsterdam range from large high-end department stores such as De Bijenkor founded in 1870 to small specialty shops. Amsterdam's high-end shops are found in the streets PC. Hooftstraat and Cornelis Scootstraat, which are located in the vicinity of the Vondelpark. One of Amsterdam's busiest high streets is the narrow, medieval Kalverstraat in the heart of the city. Other shopping areas include the Negen Stratjes and Harlemmerdijk and Harlemmerstraat. Negen Stratjes are nine narrow streets within the Grachtengordel, the concentric canal system of Amsterdam. The Negen Stratjes differ from other shopping districts with the presence of a large diversity of privately owned shops. The Harlemmerstraat and Harlemmerdijk were voted best shopping street in the Netherlands in 2011. These streets have as the Negen Stratjes a large diversity of privately owned shops. 
But as the Negan Stratias are dominated by fashion stores, the Harlemer Strat and Harlemerdick offer a very wide variety of all kinds of stores, just to name some specialties candy and other food related stores, lingerie, sneakers, wedding clothing, interior shops, books, Italian delis, racing and mountain bikes, skatewear, etc. The city also features a large number of open air markets such as the Albert Cuyp Market, Westerstraat Markt, Ten Kate Markt, and Dappermarkt. Some of these markets are held on a daily basis, like the Albert Kuypmarkt and the Dappermarkt. Others, like the Westerstraatmarkt, are held on a weekly basis. Topic fashion Fashion brands like G-Star, GSUs, Blue Blood, Pichichi, Iris Van Herpen, Fair Trade Denim brand Mud Jeans, Ten Feet and Warmenhoven and Venderbos, and fashion designers like Mart Visser, Victor and Rolf, Sheila de Vries, Marlies Deckers and Franz Molinar are based in Amsterdam. Modeling agencies Elite Models, Touche Models and Tony Jones have opened branches in Amsterdam. Fashion models like YFKE Sturm, Dutzen Crows and Kim Norda started their careers in Amsterdam. Amsterdam has its garment center in the World Fashion Center. Buildings which formerly housed brothels in the red light district have been converted to ateliers for young fashion designers, aka Eagle Fuel. Fashion photographers Inez van Lamsweerd and Vinu Matadeen were born in Amsterdam, Netherlands. Topic: Culture. During the later part of the 16th century, Amsterdam's Rederijkerskamer, Chamber of Rhetoric, organized contests between different chambers in the reading of poetry and drama. In 1638, Amsterdam opened its first theater. Ballet performances were given in this theater as early as 1642. In the 18th century, French theater became popular. While Amsterdam was under the influence of German music in the 19th century there were few national opera productions. The Hollandse Opera of Amsterdam was built in 1888 for the specific purpose of promoting Dutch opera. In the 19th century, popular culture was centered on the Nes area in Amsterdam mainly vaudeville and music hall. The metronome, one of the most important advances in European classical music, was invented here in 1812 by Dietrich Nikolaus Winkel. At the end of this century, the Rijksmuseum and Stedelijk Museum were built. In 1888, the Concertgebouworkest was established. With the 20th century came cinema, radio and television. Though most studios are located in Hilversum and Alsmere, Amsterdam's influence on programming is very strong. Many people who work in the television industry live in Amsterdam. Also, the headquarters of the Dutch SBS Broadcasting Group is located in Amsterdam. Topic museums The most important museums of Amsterdam are located on the Museumplein Museum Square, located at the southwestern side of the Rijksmuseum. It was created in the last quarter of the 19th century on the grounds of the former World's Fair. The northeastern part of the square is bordered by the very large Rijksmuseum. In front of the Rijksmuseum on the square itself is a long, rectangular pond. This is transformed into an ice rink in winter. The northwestern part of the square is bordered by the Van Gogh Museum, Stedelijk Museum, House of Bowles Cocktail and Geneva Experience and Coster Diamonds. The southwestern border of the museum square is the Van Berelstraat, which is a major thoroughfare in this part of Amsterdam. The Concertgebouw is situated across this street from the square. To the southeast of the square are situated a number of large houses, one of which contains the American consulate. A parking garage can be found underneath the square, as well as a supermarket. The museum plane is covered almost entirely with a lawn, except for the northeastern part of the square which is covered with gravel. The current appearance of the square was realized in 1999, when the square was remodeled. The square itself is the most prominent site in Amsterdam for festivals and outdoor concerts, especially in the summer. Plans were made in 2008 to remodel the square again, because many inhabitants of Amsterdam are not happy with its current appearance. The Rijksmuseum possesses the largest and most important collection of classical Dutch art. It opened in 1885. Its collection consists of nearly one million objects. The artist most associated with Amsterdam is Rembrandt, whose work, and the work of his pupils, is displayed in the Rijksmuseum. Rembrandt's masterpiece The Night Watch is one of top pieces of art of the museum. It also houses paintings from artists like van der Helst, Vermeer, Franz Hals, Ferdinand Boll, Albert Cuyp, Jacob van Ruisdael and Paulus Potter. 
Aside from paintings, the collection consists of a large variety of decorative art. This ranges from Delftware to giant doll houses from the 17th century. The architect of the Gothic Revival building was P. J. H. Kuypers. The museum underwent a 10-year, 375 million euro renovation starting in 2003. The full collection was reopened to the public on 13 April 2013 and the Rijksmuseum has established itself as the most visited museum in Amsterdam with 2.2 million visitors in 2013. Van Gogh lived in Amsterdam for a short while and there is a museum dedicated to his work. The museum is housed in one of the few modern buildings in this area of Amsterdam. The building was designed by Gerrit Rietveld. This building is where the permanent collection is displayed. A new building was added to the museum in 1999. This building, known as the Performance Wing, was designed by Japanese architect Kisho Kurakawa. Its purpose is to house temporary exhibitions of the museum. Some of Van Gogh's most famous paintings, like the Potato Eaters and Sunflowers, are in the collection. The Van Gogh Museum is the second most visited museum in Amsterdam, with 1.4 million annual visitors. Next to the Van Gogh Museum stands the Stedelijk Museum. This is Amsterdam's most important museum of modern art. The museum is as old as the square it borders and was opened in 1895. The permanent collection consists of works of art from artists like Piet Mondrian, Carol Appel, and Kazimir Malevich. After renovations lasting several years the museum opened in September 2012 with a new composite extension that has been called the bathtub due to its resemblance to one. Amsterdam contains many other museums throughout the city. They range from small museums such as the Verzets Museum, Resistance Museum, the Anne Frank House, and the Rembrandt House Museum, to the very large, like the Tropen Museum, Museum of the Tropics, Amsterdam Museum, formerly known as Amsterdam Historical Museum, Hermitage Amsterdam, a dependency of the Hermitage Museum in St. Petersburg, and the Jude's Historisch Museum, Jewish Historical Museum. The modern styled Nemo is dedicated to child-friendly science exhibitions. Topic music Amsterdam's musical culture includes a large collection of songs which treat the city nostalgically and lovingly. The 1949 song On de on the Canals of Amsterdam was performed and recorded by many artists, including John Crycamp Sr. The best known version is probably that by Wim Sonneveld In the 1950s Johnny Jordan rose to fame with Gief Mij Mar Amsterdam I prefer Amsterdam, which praises the city above all others explicitly Paris. Jordan sang especially about his own neighborhood, the Jordan Bij Ons in de Jordan. Colleagues and contemporaries of Johnny include Tant Lien and Mank Nellis. Other notable Amsterdam songs are Amsterdam by Jacques Brel 1964 and Die Stad by De Dijk 1989. A 2011 poll by Amsterdam newspaper Het Parool that trio beers Oud Wolf was voted Amsterdam's Leechflied. Notable Amsterdam bands from the modern era include the Osdorp Posse and the X. AFAS Live formerly known as the Heineken Music Hall is a concert hall located near the Johan Cruyff Arena known as the Amsterdam Arena until 2018. Its main purpose is to serve as a podium for pop concerts for big audiences. Many famous international artists have performed there. Two other notable venues, Paradiso and the Melkweg are located near the Leidseplein. Both focus on broad programming, ranging from indie rock to hip-hop, R&B, and other popular genres. Other more subcultural music venues are OCCII, OT301, De New Anita, Winston Kingdom and Zoll 100. Jazz has a strong following in Amsterdam, with the Bimehaus being the premier venue. In 2012, Ziggo Dome was opened, also near Amsterdam Arena, a state-of-the-art indoor music arena. AFAS Live is also host to many electronic dance music festivals, alongside many other venues. Armin van Buren and Tiesto, some of the world's leading trance DJs hail from the Netherlands and perform frequently in Amsterdam. Each year in October, the city hosts the Amsterdam Dance Event Aid, which is one of the leading electronic music conferences and one of the biggest club festivals for electronic music in the world, attracting over 350,000 visitors each year. Another popular dance festival is Five Days Off, which takes place in the venues Paradiso and Melkweg. In summertime there are several big outdoor dance parties in or nearby Amsterdam, such as Awakenings, Dance Valley, Mystery Land, Loveland, A Day at the Park, Welcome to the Future, and Valtifest. Amsterdam has a world-class symphony orchestra, the Royal Concertgebouw Orchestra. 
Their home is the Concertgebouw, which is across the Van Berlstraat from the Museum Square. It is considered by critics to be a concert hall with some of the best acoustics in the world. The building contains three halls, Grootzaal, Kleine Zaal, and Spiegelzaal. Some 900 concerts and other events per year take place in the Concertgebouw, for a public of over 700,000, making it one of the most visited concert halls in the world. The Opera House of Amsterdam is situated adjacent to the City Hall. Therefore, the two buildings combined are often called the Stapera, a word originally coined by protesters against it very construction, Stop the Opera House. This huge modern complex, opened in 1986, lies in the former Jewish neighborhood at Waterloopaline next to the river Amstel. The Stapera is the home base of Dutch National Opera, Dutch National Ballet and the Holland Symphonia. Muzekkabo on TIJ is a concert hall, which is situated in the IJ near the central station. Its concerts perform mostly modern classical music. Located adjacent to it, is the Beimhaus, a concert hall for improvised and jazz music. Topic. Performing arts Amsterdam has three main theater buildings. The Stadskoeuberg at the Leidseplein is the home base of Tonelgroep Amsterdam. The current building dates from 1894. Most plays are performed in the Grootzaal Great Hall. The normal program of events encompasses all sorts of theatrical forms. The Stadskoeuberg is currently being renovated and expanded. The third theater space, to be operated jointly with next door Melkweg, will open in late 2009 or early 2010. The Dutch National Opera and Ballet, formerly known as Het Muzek Theater, dating from 1986, is the principal opera house and home to Dutch National Opera and Dutch National Ballet. Royal Theater Carré was built as a permanent circus theater in 1887 and is currently mainly used for musicals, cabaret performances and pop concerts. The recently reopened De La Mar Theatre houses the more commercial plays and musicals. A new theatre has also moved into Amsterdam scene in 2014, joining other established venues. Theatre Amsterdam is situated in the west part of Amsterdam, on the Danzigerkade. It is housed in a modern building with a panoramic view over the harbour. The theatre is the first ever purpose built venue to showcase a single play entitled Anne, the play based on Anne Frank's life. On the east side of town there is a small theater in a converted bath house, the Badhis Theater. The theater often has English programming. The Netherlands has a tradition of cabaret or kleinkunst, which combines music, storytelling, commentary, theater and comedy. Cabaret dates back to the 1930s and artists like Wim Kahn, Wim Sonneveld and Toon Hermans were pioneers of this form of art in the Netherlands. In Amsterdam is the Kleinkunstacademie English, Cabaret Academy. Contemporary popular artists are Joop van Thek, Freek de Jong, Herman Finkers, Hans Tewen, Theo Maassen, Herman van Veen, Najib Amhali, Raoul Hirtje, Jorgen Raymond, Bridget Kaendorp and Comedy Train. The English-spoken comedy scene was established with the founding of Boom Chicago in 1993. They have their own theater at Leidseplein. Nightlife. Amsterdam is famous for its vibrant and diverse nightlife. Amsterdam has many cafés bars. They range from large and modern to small and cozy. The typical Bruin Krog brown cafe breathe a more old-fashioned atmosphere with dimmed lights, candles, and somewhat older clientele. Most cafés have terraces in summertime. A common sight on the Leidseplein during summer is a square full of terraces packed with people drinking beer or wine. Many restaurants can be found in Amsterdam as well. Since Amsterdam is a multicultural city, a lot of different ethnic restaurants can be found. Restaurants range from being rather luxurious and expensive to being ordinary and affordable. Amsterdam also possesses many discotheques. The two main nightlife areas for tourists are the Leidseplein and the Rembrandtplein. The Paradiso, Melkweg and Sugar Factory are cultural centers, which turn into discotheques on some nights. Examples of discotheques near the Rembrandtplein are The Escape, Air, John Doe and Club Abe. Also noteworthy are Panama, Hotel Arena East, True Amsterdam and Studio 80. Beimhaus located near the Central Station, with its rich programming hosting the best in the field is considered one of the best jazz clubs in the world. 
The Regulärsdwarstraat is the main street for the LGBT community and nightlife. Festivals In 2008, there were 140 festivals and events in Amsterdam. Famous festivals and events in Amsterdam include Koningsdag, which was named Koningsdag until the crowning of King Willem Alexander in 2013, King's Day, Queen's Day, the Holland Festival for the Performing Arts, the yearly Prinsengracht Classical Concerto on the Prinsen Canal in August, the Stille Omgang, a silent Roman Catholic evening procession held every March, Amsterdam Gay Pride, the Cannabis Cup, and the Uitmarkt. On Koningenadag that was held each year on 30 April hundreds of thousands of people travel to Amsterdam to celebrate with the city's residents, and Koningsdag is held on 27 April. The entire city becomes overcrowded with people buying products from the free market or visiting one of the many music concerts. The yearly Holland Festival attracts international artists and visitors from all over Europe. Amsterdam Gay Pride is a yearly local LGBT parade of boats in Amsterdam's canals, held on the first Saturday in August. The annual Uitmarkt is a three-day cultural event at the start of the cultural season in late August. It offers previews of many different artists, such as musicians and poets, who perform on podia. Sports. Amsterdam is home of the Eredivisie football club AFC Ajax. The stadium Johan Cruyff Arena is the home of Ajax. It is located in the southeast of the city next to the new Amsterdam Bijlmer Arena railway station. Before moving to their current location in 1996, Ajax played their regular matches in Demir Stadium. In 1928, Amsterdam hosted the Summer Olympics. The Olympic Stadium built for the occasion has been completely restored and is now used for cultural and sporting events, such as the Amsterdam Marathon. In 1920, Amsterdam assisted in hosting some of the sailing events for the Summer Olympics held in neighbouring Antwerp, Belgium by hosting events at Buten Y. The city holds the Dam to Dam Run, a 16-kilometre race from Amsterdam to Zondam, as well as the Amsterdam Marathon. The ice hockey team Amstel Tigers play in the Yap Eden Ice Rink. The team competes in the Dutch Ice Hockey Premier League. Speed skating championships have been held on the 400-meter lane of this ice rink. Amsterdam holds two American football franchises, the Amsterdam Crusaders and the Amsterdam Panthers. The Amsterdam Pirates baseball team competes in the Dutch Major League. There are three field hockey teams, Amsterdam, Pinocchi and Hurley, who play their matches around the Wagoner Stadium in the nearby city of Amstelveen. The basketball team My Guide Amsterdam competes in the Dutch Premier Division and play their games in the Sportalen Zuid. There is one rugby club in Amsterdam, which also hosts sports training classes such as RTC Rugby Talenten Centrum or Rugby Talent Centre and the National Rugby Stadium. Since 1999 the city of Amsterdam honors the best sportsmen and women at the Amsterdam Sports Awards. Boxer Raymond Jovel and field hockey midfielder Carol Thate were the first to receive the awards, in 1999. <laughs> Politics The city of Amsterdam is a municipality under the Dutch Municipalities Act. It is governed by a directly elected municipal council, a municipal executive board and a mayor. Since 1981, the municipality of Amsterdam has gradually been divided into semi-autonomous boroughs, called stadsdelen or districts. Over time, a total of 15 boroughs were created. In May 2010, under a major reform, the number of Amsterdam boroughs was reduced to eight, Amsterdam Centrum covering the city centre including the Canal Belt, Amsterdam Noord consisting of the neighbourhoods north of the IJ Lake, Amsterdam Oost in the east, Amsterdam Zuid in the south, Amsterdam West in the west, Amsterdam New West in the far west, Amsterdam Zuidoost in the southeast, and Westport covering the port of Amsterdam area. Topic. City government As with all Dutch municipalities, Amsterdam is governed by a directly elected municipal council, a municipal executive board and a mayor burgemeester. The mayor is a member of the municipal executive board, but also has individual responsibilities in maintaining public order. 
On the 27th of June 2018, Femke Halsima, former member of House of Representatives for Groenlinks from 1998 to 2011, was appointed as the first woman to be mayor of Amsterdam by the King's Commissioner of North Holland for a 6-year term after being nominated by the Amsterdam Municipal Council and began serving a 6-year term on the 12th of July 2018. She replaces Eberhard van der Laan Labour Party, who was the mayor of Amsterdam from 2010 until his death in October 2017. After the 2014 municipal council elections, a governing majority of D66, VVD and SP was formed, the first coalition without the Labour Party since World War II. Next to the mayor, the municipal executive board consists of eight Wethouders alderpersons appointed by the municipal council, four D66 alderpersons, two VVD alderpersons, and two SP alderpersons. On the 18th of September 2017, it was announced by Eberhard van der Laan in an open letter to Amsterdam citizens that Kaisa Allengren would take up his office as acting mayor of Amsterdam with immediate effect due to ill health. Allengren was succeeded as acting mayor by Eric van der Berg on 26 October 2017 and by Josias van Artsen on 4 December 2017. Unlike most other Dutch municipalities, Amsterdam is subdivided into eight boroughs, called Stadstelen or districts, a system that was implemented gradually in the 1980s to improve local governance. The boroughs are responsible for many activities that had previously been run by the central city. In 2010, the number of Amsterdam boroughs reached 15. Fourteen of those had their own district council Dielerad, elected by a popular vote. The 15th, Westport, covers the harbour of Amsterdam and had very few residents. Therefore, it was governed by the Central Municipal Council. Under the borough system, municipal decisions are made at borough level, except for those affairs pertaining to the whole city such as major infrastructure projects, which are the jurisdiction of the central municipal authorities. In 2010, the borough system was restructured, in which many smaller boroughs merged into larger boroughs. In 2014, under a reform of the Dutch Municipalities Act, the Amsterdam boroughs lost much of their autonomous status, as their district councils were abolished. The Municipal Council of Amsterdam voted to maintain the borough system by replacing the district councils with smaller, but still directly elected district committees Under a municipal ordinance, the new district committees were granted responsibilities through delegation of regulatory and executive powers by the Central Municipal Council. Metropolitan area Amsterdam is usually understood to refer to the municipality of Amsterdam. Colloquially, some areas within the municipality, such as the town of Dergerdam, may not be considered part of Amsterdam. Statistics Netherlands uses three other definitions of Amsterdam: Metropolitan Agglomeration Amsterdam, Grootstedelijke Agglomeratie Amsterdam, not to be confused with Grootstedelijk Gebied Amsterdam, a synonym of Groot Amsterdam, Greater Amsterdam, Groot Amsterdam, a COROP region, and the urban region Amsterdam, Stadsgewest Amsterdam. The Amsterdam Department for Research and Statistics uses a fourth conurbation, namely the Stadsregio Amsterdam, City Region of Amsterdam. The city region is similar to Greater Amsterdam but includes the municipalities of Zonsted and Wormerland. It excludes Graaf de Rijp. The smallest of these areas is the municipality of Amsterdam with a population of 802,938 in 2013. The conurbation had a population of 1,096,042 in 2013. It includes the municipalities of Zonsted, Wormerland, Oostzand, Diemen and Amstelveen only, as well as the municipality of Amsterdam. Greater Amsterdam includes 15 municipalities, and had a population of 1,293,208 in 2013. Though much larger in area, the population of this area is only slightly larger, because the definition excludes the relatively populous municipality of Zonsted. The largest area by population, the Amsterdam Metropolitan Area Dutch, Metropoolregio Amsterdam, has a population of 2, 33 million. It includes for instance Zonsted, Wormerveer, Muiden, Abkoud, Harlem, Almere and Lelystad but excludes Graaf de Rijp. 
Amsterdam is part of the conglomerate metropolitan area Randstad, with a total population of 6,659,300 inhabitants. Of these various metropolitan area configurations, only the Stadsregio Amsterdam, city region of Amsterdam has a formal governmental status. Its responsibilities include regional spatial planning and the metropolitan public transport concessions. National capital Under the Dutch constitution, Amsterdam is the capital of the Netherlands. Since the 1983 constitutional revision, the constitution mentions Amsterdam and capital in Chapter 2, Article 32. The king's confirmation by oath and his coronation take place in the capital Amsterdam, de Hoofstad Amsterdam. Previous versions of the constitution only mention the city of Amsterdam, de Stad Amsterdam, for a royal investiture. Therefore, the States General of the Netherlands, the Dutch Parliament, meets for a ceremonial joint session in Amsterdam. The ceremony traditionally takes place at the New Kirk on Dam Square, immediately after the former monarch has signed the act of abdication at the nearby Royal Palace of Amsterdam. Normally, however, the Parliament sits in The Hague, the city which has historically been the seat of the Dutch government, the Dutch monarchy, and the Dutch Supreme Court. Foreign embassies are also located in The Hague. Symbols The coat of arms of Amsterdam is composed of several historical elements. First and center are three St. Andrew's crosses, aligned in a vertical band on the city's shield although Amsterdam's patron saint was St. Nicholas. These St. Andrew's crosses can also be found on the city shields of neighbors Amstelveen and Uder Amstel. This part of the coat of arms is the basis of the flag of Amsterdam, flown by the city government, but also as civil ensign for ships registered in Amsterdam. Second is the Imperial Crown of Austria. In 1489, out of gratitude for services and loans, Maximilian I awarded Amsterdam the right to adorn its coat of arms with the king's crown. Then, in 1508, this was replaced with Maximilian's imperial crown when he was crowned Holy Roman Emperor. In the early years of the 17th century, Maximilian's crown in Amsterdam's coat of arms was again replaced, this time with the crown of Emperor Rudolf II, a crown that became the imperial crown of Austria. The lions date from the late 16th century, when city and province became part of the Republic of the Seven United Netherlands. Last came the city's official motto, Heldhaftig, Vastbereden, Barmhartig, heroic, determined, merciful, bestowed on the city in 1947 by Queen Wilhelmina, in recognition of the city's bravery during the Second World War. Transport. Topic. Metro, tram and bus Currently, there are 16 tram routes and 5 metro routes. All are operated by municipal public transport operator Gemintelic Vervorbedrige GVB, which also runs the city bus network. Four fare-free GVB ferries carry pedestrians and cyclists across the IJ Lake to the borough of Amsterdam Nord, and two fare-charging ferries run east and west along the harbour. There are also privately operated water taxis, a water bus, a boat sharing operation, electric rental boats and canal cruises, that transport people along Amsterdam's waterways. Regional buses, and some suburban buses, are operated by Connexion and EBS. International coach services are provided by Eurolines from Amsterdam Amstel Railway Station, IDBUS from Amsterdam Sloterdijk Railway Station, and Megabus from the Zuiderzee Weg in the east of the city. In order to facilitate easier transport to the centre of Amsterdam, the city has various P plus R locations where people can park their car at an affordable price and transfer to one of the numerous public transport lines. Car Amsterdam was intended in 1932 to be the hub, a kind of kilometre zero, of the highway system of the Netherlands, with freeways numbered 1 to 8 planned to originate from the city. 
The outbreak of the Second World War and shifting priorities led to the current situation, where only roads A1, A2, and A4 originate from Amsterdam according to the original plan. The A3 to Rotterdam was cancelled in 1970 in order to conserve the Groney Hart. Road A8, leading north to Zondam and the A10 ringroad were opened between 1968 and 1974. Besides the A1, A2, A4 and A8, several freeways, such as the A7 and A6, carry traffic mainly bound for Amsterdam. The A10 ringroad surrounding the city connects Amsterdam with the Dutch national network of freeways. Interchanges on the A10 allow cars to enter the city by transferring to one of the 18 city roads, numbered S101 through to S118. These city roads are regional roads without grade separation, and sometimes without a central reservation. Most are accessible by cyclists. The S100 Centrumring is a smaller ringroad circumnavigating the city's center. In the city center, driving a car is discouraged. Parking fees are expensive, and many streets are closed to cars or are one way. The local government sponsors car sharing and carpooling initiatives such as Autodelen and Miraiden.nu. Topic: National Rail. Amsterdam is served by ten stations of the Nederlandse Spoorwegen Dutch Railways. Five are intercity stops, Sloterdijk, Zuid, Amstel, Bijlmer Arena and Amsterdam Central. The stations for local services are, Lilalan, Rye, Holendrecht, Muidaport and Science Park. Amsterdam Central is also an international railway station. From the station there are regular services to destinations such as Austria, Belarus, Belgium, the Czech Republic, Denmark, France, Germany, Hungary, Poland, Russia, Switzerland and the United Kingdom. Among these trains are international trains of the Nederlandse Spoorwegen Amsterdam Berlin, the Eurostar Amsterdam Brussels London, Thales Amsterdam Brussels Paris, Lille, and Intercity Express Amsterdam Cologne Frankfurt. Topic. Airport Amsterdam Airport Schiphol is less than 20 minutes by train from Amsterdam Central Station and is served by domestic and international intercity trains, such as Thales, Eurostar and Intercity Brussel. Schiphol is the largest airport in the Netherlands, the third largest in Europe, and the 14th largest in the world in terms of passengers. It handles over 68 million passengers per year and is the home base of four airlines, KLM, Transavia, Martinair and Arcfly. As of 2014, Schiphol was the fifth busiest airport in the world measured by international passenger numbers. Cycling <inaudible> 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 Amsterdam is one of the most bicycle-friendly large cities in the world and is a center of bicycle culture with good facilities for cyclists such as bike paths and bike racks, and several guarded bike storage garages which can be used. In 2013, there were about 1,200,000 bicycles in Amsterdam outnumbering the amount of citizens in the city. Theft is widespread. In 2011, about 83,000 bicycles were stolen in Amsterdam. Bicycles are used by all socio-economic groups because of their convenience. Amsterdam's small size, the 400 kilometers (249 miles) of bike paths, the flat terrain, and the inconvenience of driving an automobile. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Education. Amsterdam has two universities, the University of Amsterdam Universiteit van Amsterdam, UVA, and the Vrije Universiteit Amsterdam VU. Other institutions for higher education include an art school, Gerrit Rietveld Academy, a University of Applied Sciences, the Hogeschool van Amsterdam, and the Amsterdamse Hogeschool voor de Kunsten. Amsterdam's International Institute of Social History is one of the world's largest documentary and research institutions concerning social history, and especially the history of the labor movement. Amsterdam's Hortus Botanicus, founded in the early 17th century, is one of the oldest botanical gardens in the world, with many old and rare specimens, among them the coffee plant that served as the parent for the entire coffee culture in Central and South America. There are over 200 primary schools in Amsterdam. Some of these primary schools base their teachings on particular pedagogic theories like the various Montessori schools. 
The biggest Montessori high school in Amsterdam is the Montessori Lyceum Amsterdam. Many schools, however, are based on religion. This used to be primarily Roman Catholicism and various Protestant denominations, but with the influx of Muslim immigrants there has been a rise in the number of Islamic schools. Jewish schools can be found in the southern suburbs of Amsterdam. Amsterdam is noted for having five independent grammar schools Dutch, Gymnasia, the Vossius Gymnasium, Barlius Gymnasium, St. Ignatius Gymnasium, Het 4e Gymnasium and the Cygnus Gymnasium where a classical curriculum including Latin and classical Greek is taught. Though believed until recently by many to be an anachronistic and elitist concept that would soon die out, the Gymnasia have recently experienced a revival, leading to the formation of a fourth and fifth grammar school in which the three aforementioned schools participate. Most secondary schools in Amsterdam offer a variety of different levels of education in the same school. The city also has various colleges ranging from art and design to politics and economics which are mostly also available for students coming from other countries. Notable people Fritz Bolkstein born 1933, politician Charlene de Carvalho Heineken born 1954, businesswoman Paul J. Crutzen born 1933, atmospheric chemist Willem Dries Sr. 1886–1988, politician Floris Adrian van Hall, 1791 to 1866, Minister of Justice, Prime Minister of the Netherlands. Freddy Heineken, 1923 to 2002, businessman. Jaap de Hoop Scheffer, born 1948, politician. Andre Kuipers, born 1958, astronaut. Baruch Spinoza, 1632 to 1677, philosopher. Hans Weigel, born 1941, politician. Topic: Entertainment. Carol Apple, 1921 to 2006, painter. Jan Ackerman, born 1946, musician. Willeke van Amelroy, born 1944, actress. Willem Bruker, 1944 to 2010, musician. Franz Bruggen, 1934 to 2014, musician. Rudy van Danzig, 1933–2012, ballet. Joop van den Ende, born 1942, film, television, and theatric producer. Bernard Hayding, born 1929, orchestra conductor. John Crycamp Sr., 1925–2011, actor, comedian, singer. Andre Hazes, 1951–2004, one of the most famous singers in the Netherlands. Martin Garrix 2013 present recognized DJ and producer Topic <inaudible> Sport Alistair Black born 1985 professional wrestler and kickboxer Alistair Overeem born 1980 mixed martial artist and kickboxer Valentine Overeem born 1976 mixed martial artist and kickboxer Co Adrians, born 1947, football trainer. Dennis Bergkamp, born 1969, football player. Jan van Beveren, 1948 to 2011, football goalkeeper and coach. Michael Bleekemolen, born 1949, racing driver. Daly Blint, born 1990, football player. Geraldo Boldevane, born 1991, American football player. Cor Brom, 1932 to 2008, football player and football trainer. Ellie van den Brom, born 1949, long track speed skater. Daniel Sprong, born 1997, hockey player. Johan Cruyff, 1947 to 2016, football player and football trainer. Ellen van Dyke, born 1987, cyclist. Max Yu, 1901 to 1981, chess grandmaster, mathematician, author. Louis Van Hall, born 1951, football trainer. Didi Gregorius, major league baseball shortstop. Rude Gullet, born 1962, football player. Bobby Harms, 1934 to 2009, football player and football trainer. 
Cor van der Hart (1928–2006), football player and football trainer. Renus Israel, born 1942, football player and football trainer. Nigel de Young, born 1984, football player. Jan Jongblod, born 1940, football player, goalkeeper. Pete Kaiser, 1943–2017, football player. Patrick Kluivert, born 1976, football player. Jerry Neman, 1951 to 2004, cyclist. Ada Koch, born 1947, swimmer. Rude Kroll, born 1949, football player and football coach. Edward Metgod, born 1959, football player, goalkeeper and football trainer. John Metgod, born 1958, football player and football trainer. Renus Mickles, 1928 to 2005, football player and football trainer. Lion van Meinen, 1880 to 1944, Olympic fencer who was killed in the Auschwitz concentration camp. Benny Muller, born 1938, football player, 47 caps. Simon Ocker, 1881 to 1944, Olympic fencer killed in the Auschwitz concentration camp. Tom Ocker, born 1944, tennis player. Eddie Peters Groflin, born 1934, football player, goalkeeper. Peter Post, 1933 to 2011, cyclist. Quincy Proms, born 1992, football player. Anton Prong, born 1941, football player, 19 caps. Rob Rensenbrink, born 1947, football player. Frank Reichard, born 1962, football player and football coach. Vim Ruska, born 1940, Jadoka. Tun Cybrands, born 1949, international drafts player. Syak Swart, born 1938, football player. Marko Vijinovic, born 1990, football player. Topic: <laughs> Originating from elsewhere. Fanny Blankers Cohn, 1918 to 2004, athlete. Ing de Bruggen, born 1973, swimmer. René Descartes, philosopher. Ryan Tendo Schaet, born 1980, cricketer. Jan Hein Donner, 1927 to 1988, chess grandmaster. Anne Frank, 1929 to 1945, diarist and Holocaust victim. Theo van Gogh, 1957 to 2004, film director. Carice van Houten, born 1976, actress. Soren Lerby, born 1958, football player. Satendra Pahale, born 1967, designer. Rembrandt van Rien, 1666-1669, painter. Jan van Speyk, 1802-1831, lieutenant commander Dutch Royal Navy. Juke Den Uyl, 1919 to 1987, politics. Joost van den Vondel, 1597 to 1679, poet, playwright. Gerardus Vossius, 1577 to 1649, theologist, historian. Topic: Media. Amsterdam is a prominent center for national and international media. Some locally based newspapers include Het Parool, a national daily paper, De Telegraaf, the largest Dutch daily newspaper, the daily newspapers Tro, De Volkskrant and NRC Handelsblad, De Groene Amsterdammer, a weekly newspaper, the free newspapers SP, TS, Metro, and the Holland Times printed in English. Amsterdam is home to the second largest Dutch commercial TV group SBS Broadcasting Group, consisting of TV stations SBS6, Net5 and Veronica. However, Amsterdam is not considered the media city of the Netherlands. The town of Hilversum, 30 kilometers, 19 miles southeast of Amsterdam, has been crowned with this unofficial title. Hilversum is the principal center for radio and television broadcasting in the Netherlands. Radio Netherlands, heard worldwide via shortwave radio since the 1920s, is also based there. Hilversum is home to an extensive complex of audio and television studios belonging to the national broadcast production company NOS, as well as to the studios and offices of all the Dutch public broadcasting organizations and many commercial TV production companies. 
In 2012, the music video of Far East Movement, Live My Life, was filmed in various parts of Amsterdam. Also, several movies were filmed in Amsterdam, such as James Bond's Diamonds Are Forever, Ocean's 12, Girl with a Pearl Earring and The Hitman's Bodyguard. Amsterdam is also featured in John Green's book The Fault in Our Stars, which has been made into a film as well that partly takes place in Amsterdam. <laughs> housing The housing market is heavily regulated. In Amsterdam, 55% of existing housing and 30% of new housing is owned by housing associations, which are government-sponsored entities. Squat properties are common throughout Amsterdam, due to property law strongly favoring tenants. A number of these squats have become well known, such as OT301, Paradiso, Vrankrijk, closed down by city government, and the Binnenprey, and several are now businesses, such as health clubs and licensed restaurants. See also Amsterdam portal Amsterdamertje Notes and references Topic Literature Burns, Jan, Don, Joe Hij Zeit Watt, de Amsterdamse Volkstal. The Hague, Bisto. ISBN 9062917569. Fridjof, Willem, Prack, Martin 2005, Geschiedene van Amsterdam. Zelfbewusststadstad 1650 1813, Amsterdam, Sun, ISBN 9058751384. Mock, Geert. In Kleine Geschiedene van Amsterdam, Amsterdam and Antwerp, Atlas, ISBN 9045019531. Charles Caspers and Peter January Marguerite, 2017, Het Miracle van Amsterdam. Biographie van een Betwis Tavosha Amsterdam, Prometheus. Neusteling, Hubert 1985, Welvart en Werkgelegenheid in Amsterdam 1540-1860. Een Relos over Demographie, Economie en Sociale Politik van een Werelstad, Amsterdam, de Batafsche Liu, ISBN 9067070823 Ramer, J.C. 1921, Middelpunt in der Bewaning in Nederland, Voorheen en Thans, Tag 2 e Siri, 38 Van Dillen, J.G. Bronnen tot de Geschiedene van het Bedrijfsleven en het Gilduzen van Amsterdam, The Hague van Leeuwen, M. Eppen, J.E. Reconstructing the Demographic Regime of Amsterdam 1681-1920. Economic and Social History in the Netherlands, 5-61-102. See also Bibliography of Amsterdam External links Tourist information about Amsterdam – website of the Netherlands Board of Tourism and Conventions In Dutch – Amsterdam. NL – official government site iAmsterdam – portal for international visitors Dutch Amsterdam Visitors Guide Amsterdam City Archives Free Amsterdam Audio Guide Free English Guided Walking Tour